Today we're going to make a macrame jar holder. Um, in your kit you'll find four lengths of cotton cord and one wooden ring. You'll also need um, something to hang in your hanger. So you can look in your recycling bin um, like any kind of glass jar would do. Spaghetti sauce, baby sauce, jam, that kind of thing. Any size. Um, those are just examples. So to get started, we're going to put the, the cord onto the ring. Uh, so gather the four strands together uh, so that they're all lengthwise together and then fold them in half. All right, and now at the folded part, we're gonna put that through the wooden ring. And then we're going to um, just loop the ends through that loop and then pull tight. All right, so now we have eight strands. Um, so to do all of the knots, you can hang this hook um, if you have like a coat hook um, or a hook on a cabinet um, and then you can work from there. But for today, I'm going to just get a piece of tape and loop it through like so. And then I'm gonna tape this to the table just so it's easier to, to see all of the strings at once. Okay, so you have your eight strings. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some knots. Uh, the first set of knots, I'm gonna make them about about this far down, it's up to you um, how, how far you want to make them. You just want to make sure each row of knots we're going to make has to be on the same, if it, ish, the same level-ish. So I'm going to take uh, two strings, and then here it's nothing fancy. It's just a simple knot. Uh, actually, I'm going to go a little bit further down. Here we go, nothing fancy, just a simple knot. And now I'm gonna do that three more times with the, the rest of the, the six strings. I'm just trying to line up so they're all the same, um, about the same length. Here we go. So that is uh, the first level of knots. And now I'm just gonna move this up so you can see in the camera view. Now we're gonna do the next level of knots. knots. Um, so here we're going to be tying uh, neighboring strings together. I'm gonna do these knots about this far down. So you can see here, uh, I'm gonna take the, the bottom strands from these two neighboring knots, and I'm just gonna do a simple knot. There we go. And now the next neighboring one is the, these guys. And again, so this second tier of knots, you want it to be on all on the same, the same length, same level. All right, and now these ones, the the end ones, will go together because when it's hanging, they'll be they'll be neighboring. All 
All right, so that is our second row of knots. And we're gonna do one more row of knots. This, these knots I'm gonna do a little bit, try to get a little bit closer. Especially if you have a smaller jar, you'll want your, your knots to be a little bit closer. But if you're using a larger jar, it's okay if they're um, not super close. Um, right, so the neighboring, you want to do neighboring, um, neighboring strings. So I'm going to start with these two here. This is where it gets just a tiny bit tricky. So you just have to be mindful and, and go slowly. You might want to um, lift it up just to see, to make sure you're you're using the strings that are neighboring, that you're tying them together and not ones that are uh, across the way from each other. Right, so I have three knots there, and then the last one will be these two strings under here. All right, there we have it. They're not exactly as even as they could be. Um, I'm just gonna undo this one and get it a little closer up just so that my jar will sit sit a bit more properly. So you might have to do this, just a little bit of fiddling around with your knots to make sure they're mostly even, just so that your jar sits uh, mostly flush or mostly horizontal. So this one just had to be a little bit, a little bit higher up. All right, that's not too bad. All right, so now I'm gonna do one final knot at the bottom here. Just tie all, all of the strings together. Oops, a daisies. I'll get there. There we go. So this knot, you're gonna want it to be nice and tight because your jar is gonna be sitting on it. So you can pull each of the strings individually to make sure it's, it's tight. Okay, so I think that's, I think that's good. So now I'm going to Take this tape off that I used to hold it in place. And now you can put your jar inside. So this might take a little fiddling. You can open up the, uh, the strings and then I kind of tried to, to go up from the, the top and then settle it in there. And there you have it. Um, this one will also work with a larger size jar. There, that is very cute too. So uh, you can put, um, you can plant a little plant in there, like a, a leaf clipping, or you can put some uh, LED tea lights. Um, and there you have it. If you want, you can 
I like this, this loose end. It looks kind of rustic, but you could also um, braid these ends or you could cut them, trim them. It's up to you. Um, but that is the basic uh, macrame hanging jar holder craft for January's adult craft kits.